So I want to introduce myself. My name is Jenna Smith. I am an ontological coach and I'm also a spiritual psychotherapist. And what I do is help people to combine and integrate all of their being. So that's their mind, their body, their heart, their spirit. And what that can do for people is access inner resources that most people are a mind dragging around a body. That's their experience of themselves. And that's a common experience out of the world is this I have to get something done and my body is meant to do this thing. And that can lead to burnout and that can lead to all sorts of different problems and states, emotional states of frustration and anger and burnt out and all that. So fundamentally what I'd like to talk about today is four main accessing resources that I have found to really help people. And what I mean by inner resource, I mean it doesn't cost anything. So you can you can at any moment connect to these things and basically plug in to infinite energy. It's, it's always there. I don't know who is familiar with Nikola Tesla and that there's the capacity to, yes? <laughs> so Nikola Tesla was an inventor and he created inventions that could take the energy from just free energy that was floating around in the universe and create it to generate energy as we needed to physically. So we can all do that. Like, where did this energy come from? It's, it's around us all the time. So fundamentally what ontology is, is a study of human beings and their relationship to reality. So that can be your relationship to yourself, your relationship to the outside world, your relationship to other people. All of those things, your relationship to them, will determine your experience of them. So with ontology, you can look at that. And by changing the relationship to them, you can thereby change your experience. So what most people find, and what I have found to be liberating, is that nothing actually changes. Life is still going to be frustrating. There's still going to be traffic. You're still going to have fights with people. Maybe there's money problems. But you can change. It doesn't have to be this extremely stressful situation. You can, you can go through life with a certain amount of ease, with a certain amount of even joy, in the midst of all of life's ups and downs and circumstances. So what I have here is the four things are imagination, presence, enthusiasm, and repetition. Those are the main inner resources that we can tap into at any time. And when I speak about imagination, it's our capacity to see within ourselves something that doesn't yet exist, or to shift something that already exists in a way that we would like to see it. For the most part, people take their outside world and they see it, and they're aware of it, and they're reacting to it. But what's possible is to step aside for a moment and see something different for yourself, and not just always be reacting to life outside of you. So this inner resource that we have, our imagination at any moment in time, you could be with a boss. That, do you guys work for somebody? No. Your own business, okay. So you could be dealing with a client and it's not going so well. So you can actually take a moment and see how you want it to go and connect to that. And it'll entirely shift who you're feeling, like what you're feeling in that circumstance. And you'll find, and what I've found, is it shifts how that person is now being. You know, you've shifted and now they've shifted. So our ability to imagine also connects us to our ability to be more than just reacting. With, there's this expansiveness, and I, and I believe that we need more expansiveness. We need to stop being, you know, our shoulders get scrunched up by the end of the day and we just get all, it's all stuck. But if we can expand and just go, and go outside, but in our mind we can shift how we are being in our life. And that creates more satisfaction and less burnout by our ability to expand and not be limited. We are creative beings. We want to expand. We, we want to see things differently. We want to play. We want to create. And when we can honor this part of ourselves as human beings, it is a totally different game. It's a totally different game. And I, I highly recommend it. So in the world of imagination, um, also the other thing was I wanted to share the Einstein quote about problems. So we see problems as something that isn't what we want it to be. 
it's in the way and it's, it's stressing us out. When we're in that state, that's, that's not a very good resourceful state. All the blood's in the back of our brain and we're not very resourceful. When we can imagine something different, we can actually change the state of our brain to be that of problem solving, that of solution based. That can change your life to go from constantly reacting to something, because everyone has chronic problems, but to go from constantly reacting to consciously choosing more and more, we can actually build this, and that's, that's stepping into the fourth resource is, is repetition, but I'll get to that. So imagination, and the song I'm singing today is actually Somewhere Over the Rainbow. I'm gonna talk about enthusiasm first, because those things go hand in hand. And with Somewhere Over the Rainbow, with imagination, there's, there's a place I think everybody wants to get to in their life. There's a vision. There's, there's certain circumstances and who they want to be that people are inspired to become. And there's a driving force within us, and I believe this driving force is within our heart. And within our heart, that's where joy springs up. <laughs> that's where peace is just always there. No matter what's going on, there's a peace in our heart. Oh, like it's my fundamental belief that the part of us that we want to become, that vision, the part that we imagine, whatever, all life is as well, is already here. I think the thing that we think is missing has always been here. We go outside of ourselves for something that's missing, and it's always here. So when I think of Somewhere Over the Rainbow and, and all of that dorky stuff of feels like home, is that it was always here. The thing that's missing in our own life is our own presence. We're, we were always here. The reason we have feelings from within is because that's where they come from, from within. And we've got caught up with the external world. So by practicing and honing our inner resources, we can be completely at home all the time. That feeling of out there, a void to fill, is just an, a calling to go within again. And so that brings me to enthusiasm. Um, I used to not play very much. I was like, what's the point of playing? Like, I was a little kid and really didn't go to play day. I would just be like, what's the point? Why are we doing this it, as a kid? So that made me think as an adult looking back at my little kid self, why didn't I want to play? Like, what was wrong with playing? And it was because it, it didn't get anything done. And the, like, what was the point? As a kid, I thought that. Now I play more because, and I didn't understand sports, actually. I would have friends who would watch sports, and I would just sit there and go, ball, back and forth. You know, there would be no interest in sports. There'd be no interest in the game because I thought it was about getting it done. I thought it was about accomplishing something. Fundamentally, I thought it was about me getting it right so that people would like me. I later figured out. But what is life if we're not enjoying it right now? Like what, what is it really all about if we're not actually engaged in our own life? So with enthusiasm, with playing, with even just generating a sense of joy from within, we can actually start to play the game of our own life everything around can start to become engaging, not just something to do, not just another place to go, another place to be. It's like there's this force within us that starts to come out and we start to have energy from, from nowhere. Like I watch little kids who are running around and I think I don't have enough energy or I don't have enough time and they're like whizzing around and the question is where did that go? Where did that go? I was born and six and whatever. Where, where did all of that energy go? It's the same thing as before. The energy is always there. But the one place it isn't is out there where we're reaching for it and we think it's not within us and we have to reach for it and reach for it and reach for it. And then there's more of a void and then we reach for more and then there's more of a void. That isn't working. I think everyone can agree we've all tried those things. Like, I reach for this. Maybe it's that relationship or when I get this job or when you know, I have a drink, or when I eat the cupcake. It's like something joy will be out there. But our capacity to create joy from within is always here. So think back to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sing the song. Think back to when you were a child. 